So I'm Mark David Roop. I'm a reader in RNA biology and molecular neurodegeneration. And my research lab is mainly interested um, to find out what goes wrong in motor neuron disease. So one thing that we're trying to find out is to see whether we can identify what leads to the death of these motor neurons. We rely heavily on two facilities, on the one hand um, our stem cell facility and on the other hand on the imaging facility. So the stem cell facility is essentially a separate lab space which is set up that we can work with these stem cells. We insert into our stem cells that are normally healthy we insert the disease-causing mutations by genome editing and we're building a bank of stem cells in which we either have our healthy control or cells with individually different mutations. And then we make these stem cells into nerve cells. And then we cross-compare what is different in the cells that have the mutations to the healthy cell. And this then gives us insights what is going wrong in disease. A lot of the proteins that are involved in motor neuron disease, they have this special feature that they can exist in two states. So they can either be completely mixed, as we call it, so they behave like salt in water, so you have a clear solution, but then um, they can start to behave differently and suddenly behave like oil in water. So they form these little droplets like you see when you add vinegar onto your oil when you prepare a salad dressing. And in disease, very often this equilibrium between being dissolved or being phase separated, this equilibrium is altered, mainly often because of a mutation or because something else goes wrong in the cell. And for this we are using um, storm imaging because this allows us to get down to a resolution of nanometers. So we can look at how the proteins phase separate in cells, even very small droplets we can visualize. And by comparing this in a healthy and in a disease context, we get insights how this equilibrium is changed and what goes wrong in disease. I used to be a very fundamental biologist, so I was asking very basic questions, how things work in cells. But since joining the UK DRI, um, my research portfolio has grown, so we're doing much more translational work, so work towards therapeutic approaches. And ultimately the goal is that we move our insights from translation towards therapies in order to make a difference for people living with motor neuron disease. <laughs>